When I was young, I saw a ghost. It was like something out of the poltergeist. My mom had our whole family uh, grab hands and she started praying to Jesus to uh, protect us from these spirits. And as soon as she said amen, it was as if nothing had happened. Um, I remember that just really sticking with me. Very young, I remember being very, very in love with Jesus. But honestly, it didn't take me very long to rebel from that. 14 years old, I was smoking meth, and by 14, I was also dealing drugs. Uh, basically, just completely turned my back on any moral compass. I always knew God was there, and I, I, I just loved the world so much. I, you know, that I completely rejected Him. And the stuff really, it really bothered me in the beginning, but the more I was exposed to it and just kind of went along with it, the less it did bother me until finally it didn't bother me at all. After high school, I got sentenced to several months in jail, and it was during that time that I, uh, I read the New Testament. And I just remember wanting to recommit my life to, to Jesus. And as soon as I got out, um, I was right back in with the, the party scene. That's how I would meet my wife at a party, drunk out of my mind. I got her pregnant before we even really had a commitment as a couple. So we pretty much resolved to have our baby and um, to get married. We loved each other a lot, I feel like, but it didn't take too long for us to just start hating each other too. Um, I stopped using all the hardcore drugs when I, when I got my wife pregnant, but I didn't stop selling drugs. In fact, I used uh, my, my new family as a justification to sell drugs even harder, you know, to provide for them, to provide for my family. When my wife would get her feelings hurt or get upset at the things I was doing, I would take it personally and turn it around and attack her for it. She had grown accustomed to not fighting with me, to not voicing her opinion. So she wasn't telling me that she wasn't happy, so I just assumed she was. And it was New Year's Eve. And I found out she was leaving me. I, I can't even describe the feeling. I have, I've never prayed like I prayed in those weeks. My prayers started getting answered in real time. Through, things would be revealed to me through just convictions that would be placed in my heart, like this is gonna happen. And then within a day, oh, oftentimes the same day, it would happen. God was telling me what to expect to happen in my life and in my marriage. Um, God told me he would restore my family, but there were things he told me he wanted for me as well. He convicted me heavily that he wanted me to love my wife, put her on my pedestal, put my son on my pedestal. I've always called myself a Christian, so I was her example of, of what Christ was, and I was a terrible example. God worked miracles daily in my life to bring me to him and to give me inspiration and courage to bring my family back. The vital statistics of our family are healthier than they've ever been. We are closer and just more compatible with one another than we have ever been. And I can only give credit to God and to Jesus for that. I can't list all the small miracles God has worked in my life and all the small ways that he has revealed himself to me. But science could not explain the things I've been through and I just can't ignore it anymore. So I feel thankful that God intervened when, however he had to, however it had to happen, I just feel thankful that it did. Praise God.